I'm just going to read it right out of my journal and then I'll give you what God said to me because this happened back I had this these dreams um in January of 2014 so anyway I had a dream last weekend that I believe was from God I dreamt three dreams in one night I dreamt of a woman who was rapping about her government benefits getting cut off and now all these women were going into the strip clubs to make money. She was saying, the government cut off my benefits, benefits, benefits. And as she was saying that there was a beat going in my head and all these women, I saw all these women lined up and they were, you know, just kind of moving to the beat and they were dressed in stripper type clothes and they were all lined up to go into the strip clubs and become strippers then the lord spoke to me as the dream changed and i'll tell you what he said i saw darkness over the land and something very dark brewing god told me the Koch brothers, Koch brothers, Koch brothers, I don't know who they were, and the richest 1% of this country, the ones that are buying up the elections, are possessed. And they've completely given their bodies over to demons to occupy them. He showed me that they don't want the poor people to make it or have any options so there can be chaos in the streets because people will be so desperate that a culture of robbing and looting will develop. And then the dream changed again and I was driving a big rig truck for UPS and I was driving and a super steep hill came up and I was so scared and I just held on tight and didn't stop till I got through it and I made it. Okay, so that was the dream. So the explanation of the dream or the interpretation of the dream that God gave me was that the richest 1% uh, the ones that are buying up the elections um, have given themselves over to demons and they want to exploit poor people. They want all the women to be their sexual slaves. They want things to be... Women were going into the strip clubs because they were working, but it was never enough to cover their bills. They did not have, have enough to cover their bills. So they had to do something and they were resorting to the sex industry, um, whether it was only fans or uh, strip clubs or what have you, the, the women were being exploited because of the bad financial conditions just could not make ends meet no matter how hard they worked and the men uh with the chaos the culture of chaos coming about and people developing this culture of robbing and stuff like that then the men would be going to jail so the rich would be ruling over the poor it was about money so i say this dream God gave me this dream to show me who Donald Trump really is was because he specifically mentioned the Koch brothers or the Koch brothers, whatever. It looks like cock to me. Cock, <laughs> But I didn't, I, they weren't, I had no idea who the Koch, Koch brothers are, were. I think one of them's dead now. Um, I had no idea who they were. I, I had these these dreams and I just went on about my life. I, I, I didn't know why God gave me the dreams. I wasn't particularly um, 
in church or being very spiritual or anything at the time. And I just kept it in the back of my mind. I wrote it down. I always write down whenever I believe God spoke to me or gives me a dream, I just write it down. So I just had it in my handy dandy journal. See, like all, all these little tabs and things are from like times when God spoke to me. So anyway, as time went on, I started hearing about the Koch brothers or Koch brothers donating, dumping millions of dollars into Donald Trump. And that made me remember, oh my gosh, God spoke to me about the rich people that are buying up the elections, that they are possessed and they've given themselves over to demons to, to possess them and use them and their money. And so then that's when I realized, oh my gosh, okay, so if these people, the ones that God specifically said, the Koch brothers, that's my indicator for me to know what's really going on. And they were dumping money, millions of dollars into Donald Trump's campaign. Then I heard about Jay-Z and Beyonce donating $12 million to Donald Trump. I was like, oh Lord, they got, the devil got Jay-Z and Beyonce too. Ugh. So, um, and then you you hear now you're hearing about all this dark money. You hear about Elon Musk throwing all kinds of money into Donald Trump. And certainly these are people of the richest 1% that want control over everything. And so I had the dreams in 2014 and listen to this. This is very, very interesting. Okay, this is from Isaiah, the book of Isaiah in chapter 60. This is talking about the end times. And it says, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and deep darkness the people. And remember, I said that I saw that darkness accumulating over the land in the dream. I'm going to get right back to that. But I want to read one more thing. In the book of Matthew, the Lord Jesus is talking about the end times. And he says this, For false Christs and false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. See, I have told you beforehand. So there's a lot of people that believe that Trump, Donald Trump is sent from God. There's a lot of Christians that actually subscribe to this. Um, you know, the Lord Jesus Christ didn't go around grabbing women by their vaginas. He didn't sexually assault women and brag about it. You know, that just wasn't Christ-like. People can say that, I, I mean, you know what? I don't even want to get into that. I'm just going to give you my dream and you make your own decision because you're an intelligent human being. So when what I saw as far as the darkness that was over the land, I, I was looking over a city and there was this dark it wasn't a cloud it it was something that it seemed like it was alive it seemed like it had its own consciousness but like for all intents and purposes it just looked like a cloud of blackness darkness right so this transient ambient type of you know matter or whatever this dark matter that's a perfect thing say a uh, word okay so this dark matter was hovering and it was like gathering it was amassing over this this downtown area and it was specifically over this huge building it was like a convention center and I could just see inside the convention center. And it was all these people that were dressed extremely professionally. Like if you were to go to Congress, the way that people are dressed in Congress, like it, it, 
could have been like a bunch of Congress people, could have been a bunch of senators. It was definitely official uh, people dressed very nicely and they had some kind of official capacity. But I saw all these people, they, they were gathered together at nighttime in this secret meeting and they were all just like chanting like hell speak. And God said to me that these evil people that the richest one percent uh that are buying up the elections and their cohorts they have secret gatherings to release dark powers into the earth and then you read scriptures like in isaiah chapter 60 where it says and darkness will cover the land and deep darkness the people and look at how many people are just so entrenched and believe with their whole heart that god almighty sent donald trump to set us free these are scary times and god said that even his elect would be fooled there's a lot of good-hearted, real Christian folk that really believe in God. But I guess their prayer life or I don't know what's lacking, but um, they're not able to look at, the, at Donald Trump's fruit because it says you will know them by their fruit. And uh, rape and sexual assault uh, fraud and racism, all these kinds of things, none of those are fruit of the Spirit. Not since the last time I read the Bible. All right, y'all be blessed. May the Lord bless you and keep you, and may He shine the light of His countenance upon you and be gracious to you and give you peace. Uh, I'm gonna plug my Patreon. Um, God's 30 day life changing challenge. God gave me this challenge um, to do it for 30 days. He had me put together a list of all the things that I've ever done that gave me victory over the devil. Uh, when he showed up on my job, when he showed up in my finances, when he showed up in my health, when he showed up in my life. Um, and when he showed up in, in, in my son, when he showed up uh, in my life, how to kick the devil out and make a list of all those things that gave me victory, put them together and then do those things every day for 30 days. And he said, see how I will bless your life. And it has been a huge blessing in my life, completely set me free from all of the demonic uh, attacks and things that were going on. And so I share that with you guys. Uh, it's on my Patreon. I, it's a dollar and 11 cents. 111 <laughs> God's number for manifestation. So you can get that info in the description. And, um, you know, if not, just have a wonderful day. Take care.